See this? I thought it was a great idea to make it into this dress, which you may like or not. What matters is the decision I made in the process of this upcycle. Let me get there. First though, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more DIYs and upcycles like this. I grabbed my best friend to undo some seams and already here I realized this shirt is so well done. See this seam here? It's extra secured. So much that I cut my finger. Oh, just kidding. I removed the pockets and then the buttons. And here again I was impressed. So much detail in this shirt. It's very well done. Okay, so let me share my vision. I want to join the two front facings, just like this detail in the back, where you see the raw edges have been enclosed. And so to do that I need to get rid of these button holes, remove the box plate, undo this seam, and remove the neck. So now with right sides together, I pin where I want to sew and do a straight stitch. Before enclosing the raw edges, I want to fold and press them like this. So with all the patience in the world, I go ahead and do the whole length. I just wish I could do it straighter. First big check, hours of work and it seems like nothing happened. Anyways, this face means I'm not really satisfied with this. Am I sure I'm adding beauty to this? Am I sure I am rescuing this shirt? No, actually. So since I can't go back, I'll just finish this the best I can. Here I'm cutting the neck deep enough to get rid of that bias tape in a different direction. Then I shorten the sleeves and since these are checkered, I could save a minute and not draw a line. I got a bunch of organza from my neighbor through the Buy Nothing project. You should check it out if you want to be more sustainable and avoid buying new stuff anytime you can. With that organza I made a strip, I folded it and I gathered it. Now check this out, we're going to apply bias tape with our organza strip in between with the rough edges pointing inside. I'm using the French bias binding, so I start with right sides together with the organza strip in between and I go ahead and pin that all around. Okay, now I can complete applying the bias tape, doing one more fold in the inside of the bias tape, making sure not only the raw edge of the bias tape is enclosed, but also the one of the organza strip. Second fit check, this is how it looks like when it's applied. And I use the same method to apply the organza strip on the sleeves. I also put some yellow organza at the bottom of the dress, but this time without bias tape, which made the process a lot faster. I basically sewed a tube with the organza, just in order to enclose the raw edges, and then just stitched that along the hem. Originally, as you can see here, I took an extra step that was gathering this bottom part. However, as you can see from my face in the third fit check, <laughs> I didn't really like it. The other thing I needed to fix was this baggy effect. So for this, I just grabbed an elastic, I measured my waist, I pinned it to the two sides of the dress from the inside, and then by keeping it stretched, I did a zigzag stitch on it. Now before the grand reveal, which I already revealed, I decided that I will not upcycle men's shirts anymore. Why? There are a lot of women clothes out there. This shirt could be still used as is by someone else and I kind of took it from them. Thank you for staying till the end. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Until the next time.